Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team Adventure. This is part 8. In this episode we're starting off a little bit different because we are starting off in the middle of a dream. As you know from the last episode, we went and did all of that Ninetales shenanigans stuff. We found out that we are not the one that was foretold in the prophecy that became a human from being cursed and all that stuff for Gardevoir. But instead, we are... We're, we're just a random piece of a puzzle. We don't really know why we're here. We're just... We're just some random human that got turned into a Cyndaquil who's here for a good time. So, that being said, this dream should shed some light on what the hell we're meant to do next. So, that being said, this, that dream, again, it's been a while. Convenient how no dreams happened while we were running. The plot thickens. You're Gardevoir. Good old Gardevoir. Here for no real reason other than to be confusing. Yes. Wait, you're actually speaking? Gardevoir, hello? Gardevoir, there's so much I want to ask you. Why do you appear in my dreams? As an agent of spirits, I must watch over you. Because that is my role now. An agent of spirits? Yes. I fell under the curse of nine tails in, that, in the place of a trainer and became a presence without a physical form like this. Trainer? You mean the human that was in the legend about nine tails? It's awful your trainer would abandon you and run away. Yes. My trainer was a terrible person. <laughs> She's just laughing about it, like, yeah, he kinda sucked, eh. Mean and conniving, my trainer wasn't a nice person, truly. But, I don't hate my trainer. Huh? Don't hate your trainer? Why not? Well, I wonder why myself. I don't quite understand. My trainer did some terrible things, but somehow, I can't bring myself to feel hatred. My trainer had some quirks, but there were some good qualities too. And, when it happened, I was desperate. When it happened? You mean Ninetales' curse? Yes. I protected my trainer from Ninetales' curse with my entire being. If the trainer is facing danger, it is our duty to protect the trainer with our lives. We Gardevoir are that way. I'm pretty sure a lot of Pokemon are that way now that I think about it. Quite a lot of Pokemon have, like, a lot of emotional ties to their trainers. I mean, any Pokemon can, realistically, so it's not just Gardevoir. I kept my trainer safe. That alone was enough to make me happy. Protect the trainer even at the risk of your own life. It's amazing what Gardevoir did. Oh, I must mention, I don't mind the form I've taken. I live on this way with pride in the role I've been given. Role? Yes. All things have a role, they all serve a purpose. Just as I have my own role to play. You too have a role to fill. I called it. I said right at the beginning we were just gonna get some light shed on what the hell we're meant to do next. She's about to give us our role. You have come here to perform a certain role. And for that role, you became a Pokemon. But, but what? I need more details. What? What are you saying? What? Earthquake? No, wait, I need to know more. What, what kind of role am I doing? <laughs> you want me to, to join a circus and take up juggling? I don't understand. I mean, I'll, I'll happily do it. A Cyndaquil juggling? That could be pretty damn good. You never know. I'm also amazed this house doesn't like burn down considering we'd leave six fires going in the middle of the night for some reason, but anyway. There was an earthquake, wasn't that? I think I had that dream again. I think I spoke with Gardevoir. She said something important. That's it. She did say something. Are you really flashbacking to five seconds ago? Okay. You have come here to perform a certain role. Yep, we, we're we fully aware of that. We became a Pokemon to fill a certain role. We know that. Gardevoir knows. She knows why I became a Pokemon. She also said something about a role. What does she mean by that? Simple, we have to take up juggling, Cyndaquil. We already know this. So, that being said, I believe we get some story events now, right? Good morning, Carlos. Huh? What's up? Is something wrong? <laughs> I'm not a juggler yet, that's what's wrong. But there's, there's even, there's like eight fires out here too. How is this entire place? In fact, there's like ten fires. Oh my. That's a lot of fire. Oh right, that earthquake earlier. Carlos, you're worried the same way I am. I should have known, Carlos. Alexander's team hasn't come back yet. And they say Groudon's wickedly strong. So yeah, it is a bit worrying. But, then again, Alexander's bunch is tough too. They should be okay. Honestly, against a Groudon? What do they have? They have a Tyranitar this week to ground. They have Charizard this week to rock. And they have Alakazam this week to anything physical. I don't like their chances. Well, we did leave Groudon up to Alakazam. So we can't do much of anything but wait for them to come back. We've got to do what we can do. So let's give it our best for our rescue team. But is is Oh. Oh, there is an event. Okay. Uh, um... Hello? Would you- would you be so kind as to go and save everything? Um, 
I'm why not? And this is Wahaba We have we have a notice on the bulletin board outside the Papa Post Office. Wahaba Please look at it for me. Please, please. Wahaba Nailing it. Please help me. I have to go now. Wahaba <laughs> I know I can't do the Wobba Fett impression as well as I can, so I decided to put my own spin on it. I think I nailed it. What was that? What just happened? That little Pokemon. What was the boy called? Why not? He wanted us to check the bulletin board at the Palapa Post Office. Maybe those two have a problem or something. When they put up a rescue job, notice on the bulletin board. There's only one way to find out. Let's go to the office and check the bulletin board. Okay, can do. That means that we have a goal. I like having a goal. Uh, I did also, I didn't buy any more friend areas, but I did finally set moves, so that's something I've finally done. Um, Uproar Forest. This one, I think? Please punish Bad Mankey's gang. Sure thing. There was a job posted on the bulletin board which said, Punish Bad Mankey. Do you two put up that job? Yep, yep. Wow, the fair. I messed it up, damn it. A bad Mankey gang is going wild in our forest. Everyone is upset. Wahabafet. We don't even know why they rampage around, but they're always angry and attack anyone they see. We, we get it. <laughs> hmm, that is a problem. Carlos, we should go. Let's go punish a Mankey. This sounds, this sounds pretty good. The place where the Mankey gang is wreaking havoc on others? The Upper Forest is now open for exploration. So that just opens up an extra area. I kind of like that. Does that mean we can take more missions for it? No. I guess that job just, just like disappeared. We, no, no one talks about that job anymore. It will not be seen anymore. Um, in fact, let's not deposit this money. Instead, let's see if I can buy any more friend areas because why not have more friends? Why not? Uh, we will take the safari because I imagine a lot of Pokemon will be in a safari. A lot of Pokemon. I'm just gonna try and grab all the ones that seem like they would have a lot of Pokemon in it. Um, the planes. Planes seem like a pretty good one to go with. It sounds like where the really boring Pokemon would be. Like, where, where would some interesting Pokemon be? Mount Discipline? Magnetic Quarry? That sounds more like it. Uh, let's grab Rubber Dub River though, because let's be honest, everyone wants a good Rubber Dub River. <laughs> I, I need to think what I say more. That That's a thing. Um, we did grab a couple more friend areas, which means we can get a couple more Pokemon on our team. You never know. There might be some better Pokemon. We do have an amazing little Magnemite that does still gain five. Um... Oh, we also got a, uh, a Ledeba. <laughs> so, yeah, that's there. He, he gained quite a lot of stats as well. He gained like four and everything for some reason. But Magnemite's the one we want right now. We always want Magnemite with us. Magnemite's the best. I'm um, pretty sure we can only take like one team member with us for the most part in most dungeons So we're just gonna roll with Magnemite and see if we can go to Uproar Forest and get this underway Pretty sure we're also like level 20 or something So yeah for anyone curious how you set a move all you do go to moves like you've, you've got this you just there's a button here That says set you just click that and then you press L A and then you can use the move I, I finally figured it out guys. I did it. I finally did it Figured out how to play the damn game. It took a long time. Can you can you not go for Earthquake when there's a Cyndaquil and a Magnemite there, C Dot? That's that's genuinely terrifying. I honestly thought we were about to get bodied by a C Dot immediately. Earthquake is a very strong move. Venonat used confusion. I really am not I feel like Magnemite can deal with anything at this point. That Magnemite is so strong, it's ridiculous. Although with Supersonic being there, I don't know. I believe in it. I'm always gonna believe in it. Uh, and when I say believe, I mean believe. I strongly believe. Don't you dare get confused again. Okay, right. Can you like, can you like win? There we go. Easy. Easy. Magnemite had no troubles. Honest. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know what floor we need to go to in this dungeon once again, but I do know that this is a big room. First of all, this is a very big room. Are all of these Pokemon awake? Every single one of these Pokemon in the room we are in is awake and chasing after us. That's... That's something. That's definitely something. Venonat cringed. It's not flinching in this game, it's cringing. I forget that. 
Uh, either way, two tackles is enough to take down a Pokemon. I like that a lot. Uh, we should be good to just go and run away. Squall, please don't bubble everything. Every time. We also apparently have a full inventory because I can't pick up that apple. So that's fine. Squall's on a mission. It's so gonna turn around a bubble again. I knew it. I was just waiting for it. Of course it's gonna turn around and bubble another three times. It's gonna run out of PP. He is actually gonna run out of PP. I have to be a little bit cautious about when I change him off of using that move. Because I would love for him to have that move when the fight happens. So I always have to, like, keep a little bit of doubt in my head as to whether I should just stop him being able to use Bubble and Water Gun as a combo. I, I'm tempted to, to de-link the moves, honestly. Because Water Gun always gets wasted when, it realistically, it shouldn't. It has no reason to be wasted. Good old C-Dots. Happily dying for the cause. Uh, where are we finding... Really? Really, we can't get across there. I I know for a fact it's across there. It has to be because it's backwards. And if I continue going that way, well, yeah, it's, of course it's back here. Yep, it's always back the way you don't go. Fact, always, just to be annoying. Or you spawn on the stairs. <laughs> Those are the only two options. Either in the exact opposite corner where you really don't want it to be, or you spawn on the stairs. Hundred percent of the time. Actually, hundred percent of the time. Not even joking. I do know that Magnemite is absolutely bodying things, which I do quite enjoy. I really do like this Magnemite. It's probably my favorite character in this game. It really is. It's really strong. I talked about like using the set moves, and I don't think I've even used it once yet. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> we're we're going to just accept that I know what the button is, okay? Yet I still forget to use it, just because I got used to the other way. I became paralyzed from disable. That's kind of annoying. I'll just sit here and attack the wall, I guess. Uh, and there's stairs. See, we either like spawn like right next to the stairs, or they're they're the opposite side of the map. I don't understand. Why is this the case? They're either see, look, they're so close, or they're so far. There's no, never a mid ground in this game. They're never like I don't know four rooms away. <laughs> Watch this time. It'll be four rooms away. <laughs> I know for a fact it's gonna be four rooms away. We're gonna count the rooms. Oh nope, two rooms away again. Roselia. Ooh. We wouldn't mind having a Roselia on the squad, to be honest. If we could get, like, a Roselia as a friend in the friend area, that'd be pretty good. Uh, I don't know if it would be found in, like, a forest. It would probably be found in a forest. That or a plains. We do have quite a lot of plains unlocked, but I don't know. As Magnemites decides to turn around and absolutely destroy it with two Thunder Shocks. Yep, that's... You can't live two Thunder Shocks. You really can't. It's crazy. Is it four rooms away? It's four rooms away, isn't it? Nuzleaf. Are you part? Of, are you the Nuzleaf that's part of Shiftry's gang? Have we finally found you? Did you go rogue? I think it went rogue. I think it just got blown back by an Ember as well. Come up to level twenty. As you can see, not much has really changed in levels. They might have grown up like one level since. I'm pretty sure I did like three missions in since the woods or something. Nope. It's ridiculously far away, isn't it? Okay. So you don't use Bide. I don't like that. You, you're dead, aren't you, Magnemite? How? How is it not dead? How is Magnemite not dead? Is Bide not even three turns in this game? Do I know nothing about this game? Do I know nothing? Bide is apparently not a three turn move anymore. I think there's a C dot near that Magnemite as well. Earthquake 2. I don't, I don't, I don't know Pokemon typings. I, I could have sworn that was four times super effective and should not have done two damage, but okay. Okay. Earthquake on a Magnemite does two. Yep. Yep, you had it. You had it here first. Always, always, always remember to swap in your Magnemite whenever you think the opponent could be going for an Earthquake. It's the best thing you can do. <sighs> I, the logic, it just exploded my mind. I have nothing else to say. Bubble is also really good against Nuzleaf. You know, always use your water type moves against your grass types. It's especially the more f the more evolved they are, the weaker to Bubble they are, apparently. Um, this game confuses me. Let's get... How much, how much HP are you getting? 5 HP. And you want to learn Sonic Boom. Does that work how it would normally work? 
Inflict a fair amount of damage on the target, even at a distance. Uh, I'm... I kind of like the idea of keeping Supersonic, though. Yeah, screw Sonic Boom. I like the moves we have. It's fine. Yeah, we don't, we don't need that. We don't need that. Instead, you can just gain your 5 HP, gain your ridiculous stats. It's still got pretty good special attack. Everything else went up 1. Okay, that's fine. Looks like its stats are starting to calm down. I don't know why it keeps gaining so much HP. It's a... It's a Magnemite. It's a Magnemizzle correction, but still, what? It's weird, that's what it is. It's very weird. I set this move and I'm not clicking it. I'm a real dumbass sometimes. Let's just use the move. Look at this, using a move. How did I use that? Bam, magic, absolute magic, confirmed. Uh, Magnemite over there is getting karate chopped for two damage. I don't understand. What am I seeing? Why are you getting scratched for one damage, Magnemite? Why are you the strongest Pokemon in the game? It makes no sense. It genuinely makes no sense. I don't get it. Magnemite is the strongest Pokemon in this damn game. Is there some kind of buff it has because it's one of the first things you get? Either way, we're gonna go to level 21. We're gonna get some bad stats. Three, two, one, one, one. We don't get good stat and, uh, distributions, we don't. It's only Magnemite. Magnemite's the only one that gets good stat distributions in this game. See, I always go the completely wrong way, or the right way to begin with. Fact. Magnemite took no damage. It wasn't that that move missed. Magnemite took no damage whatsoever. That's so weird. I don't feel like this is a particularly high level area anyway, which is a little bit strange, considering it's like the newest thing we can do. Uh, I don't know if it's going to get difficult, though, so I'm just kind of letting it happen. I mean, not against Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf is not a strong Pokemon. I, I, I don't feel afraid of Nuzleaf at any point. In fact, I think we could just speed up any battle with Nuzleaf, let's be honest. I hardly ever use speed up in this game. Which is good. Which is good. You really shouldn't be using speed up in a mystery dungeon game whenever you can. Because it does kind of bug out a little bit. Or at least I think it does. I don't know. I don't know how many people have really tried to even run... Uh, Mystery Dungeon game on an emulator. I don't know how many people go back to Mystery Dungeon games. Squirtle, please wait. Squirtle, come on now. We're friends, aren't we? We're lovers. We eloped together. Come on now. You can't leave me like this. Magnemite just goes down. I didn't even use a second move on him. I just smacked him in the face. I'm ignoring the C dot. I feel no need to attack the C dot. I don't care. I don't care about the C dot. I just want to run. The C dot can be completely ignored. All we care about is the Mankey Squad right here. Huh? What is it, you? We don't like to brag or nothing, but we get furious real easy, you know that? What really irritates us is when we see some dim-witted face. Oh, that vacant expression. Gosh, it's ticking me off. I'm seeing red. What? McKay? Nailed it. Get him, it's frenzy time. <laughs> Nailed it. The music's not even gonna change. No, we're just, we're just sticking with the happy go music? Okay, we're sticking with the happy go music for some reason. And I guess if we eat a blast seed, no, we should throw the blast seed. Damage. Planned. Calculated. Smokescreen ember, let's go. Or well, we can miss. The Thundershock, though, does a ton of damage. These are standard Mankeys. These are standard... Oh boy, that was that was tough, guys. That was tough. I don't know how we did it. I don't know how we made it through. But we did the special mission. Just like we promised, we punished that gang of Mankey. I'm hoping that they'll smarten up and settle, settle down. I have no words for how easy that was. Everyone, thank you for everything, really. Wow, Buffet. Yes, we're filled with gratitude. This is our thanks. We receive a peeled chestnut. Oh, Squirrel, I understand that feeling. I have the same expression. This, a peeled chestnut. Yes, it's a peeled chestnut. You see, we, we don't have any money. Wow, Buffet. So we can only give you a chestnut as our reward. Are you unhappy? Uh, no. No. We're okay with this. 
Peel chestnuts are delicious. I like them. Though I wish we'd got some money. <laughs> I'm just there like, really? Hey you! <gasps> Manky Squadron. Oh no, the Manky Gang. Did those goons... Did they follow us here for revenge? Manky Squad out. That's right, you. You got lucky. You don't mess with us. We're not gonna lose this time. We'll pulverize you. Crush them. Whoa, look at that. Ch chestnut. It is. It's a pure chestnut. What? What? Let's whisper. Mana mana. Let's whisper. Mana mana. Oh, we need, we need that chestnut, guys. Oh, it's, it's, it's making me feel a little bit good inside. Oh, we need that chestnut. What's going on? They look like they're having a discussion. Why with that? <laughs> what is this all about? Uh, l l listen, you, you got uh, you got something we want over there. <laughs> Hand over the drugs. <laughs> that pure chestnut you have. Can can we have it? We uh love pure chestnuts. Like we love them so much, we can't think of life without chestnuts. What is this game that I am playing right now? What am, what am I playing? I I question this all the time. What am I playing right now? What am I doing with my life? I could be I could be an astronaut. I could be I could be a policeman. I I could sit here and look at monkeys get and have a civilized discussion over chestnuts. I think we know which is the clear superior goal of what you could be doing with your time. Why don't you just go get chestnuts on your own? You know how chestnuts have that spiky shell? I'm trying to peel that spiky shell. It hurts. And we end up losing our tempers. That's why we're asking. Give us the peeled chestnut. We'll do whatever you want. Hmm, Carlos, what do you think? Should we give our peeled chestnut to the monkey gang? Hell no, I want that chestnut. <laughs> what? You won't give it up for us. Who do you think you are? Get him! Wait, did I actually make a bad decision here? Carlos was suddenly attacked by the Mankey Gang. However, the Mankey Gang was weak. <laughs> We're just destroying them! Ow, ow, ow. We, we lost. Did they actually get, not, not get the chestnut? Maybe we can't do this. You have to understand, we love peeled chestnuts. Please, we'll do anything you want if you just give us the peeled chestnut. Hmm, Carlos, what do you think? Mikey is saying they'll do anything we want. Should we give up your chestnut? I can see the loop. Okay, we'll give him the chestnut. <sighs> Don't get any decisions, do I? I know. Hey, Mikey gang. How are you guys with physical labor? Physical labor? You mean muscle work? We have muscles, but we don't like work. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> but if it's for that peeled chestnut. Okay, then this is what we'll do. We're aiming to rebuild our rescue team base, so it'll be more impressive than this. Rescue team base? You got it. Our rescue team base. If you'd help us build our rescue team base, we could give you this peeled chestnut. What do you say? This is a once in a lifetime deal. Whisper, whisper, mutter, mutter, whisper, 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 mutter, mutter. Okay, fine. It's, uh, it's, uh, give us the goodies. Give us the goods, kid. We'll help. Really? You'll help us? Yeah, leave it to us. We'll carry the materials and get that place built double quick. In return, hand over the goods, kids. Me too, I'll help too. I'll spit silk for gluing things together. I'm. Whew, okay, um, sure. I'll help too. Wow, the fat. I felt bad because we only had a peeled chestnut for your reward. Uh, so instead, everyone's gonna just help us build a base. Even though we already have a base, for sure. Okay, let's get a move on. Okay, everyone flex. Nailing it. I like the way Cap, he's like the leader of the squad in the back there. And so, construction work began on the rescue team base. Carlos's team blank. <laughs> Several days later. Oh. Oh, we have a place that's coming together. Yeah, we should definitely be putting all of our wooden supplies and woven fabric next to the fires. Next to the ten fires laying around. Yes, we should definitely do that. That seems logical. Whew. Our base is coming on quickly. In fact, there's like 12 fires. Who am I kidding? There's even more fires than I thought. We owe everyone for this. Well, fair, please shut up. <laughs> I'm getting really tired of doing that for my throat. But there's still lots to do. We still have difficult things to do. Boba Fett, you're so annoying. Yeah, but we're getting close. Right, Mikey Gang? Huh? Huh? Mikey Gang? Look, over there. Slacking. What's up with you guys? We need to keep working. Don't wanna. What? This work's too boring. 
Do you expect us to keep going? Yeah, that's right. I don't want to do this anymore. We might change our minds if we get more peeled chestnuts. What is it with these guys? We just can't be bothered. We need peeled chestnuts to motivate us. I understand. I need chocolate to motivate me too. Mankeys, I'm on board with you guys. Problem, Carlos. It looks like the Mankey Gang won't work unless we get them another peeled chestnut. I guess we have to find more peeled chestnuts and give them to the Mankey Gang. Okay, looks like we're going chestnut hunting. Hell yeah, that's exactly what I want to do with my time. I want to go chestnut hunting. Right. Good morning, Carlos. So what, we're just... We're just... Huh? Did you bring us a peeled chestnut? What, you don't have any? Then we can't work. We see peeled chestnuts sometimes in a forest. We want them out of the shell. Right, first of all, let's go see... Let's just speed this up quickly and see if there's any quests we can do while we go over there, because why not? Uh, there isn't, which sucks. Uh, instead, we will go grab ourselves the good old trusty Magnemite. We'll take you back on our squad because you were helpful and you seemed very, very certain of yourself. You were fine, you could handle your own, which is good. And I guess we're heading back into the forest looking for more chestnuts. I guess that's all we're going to do right now. Which kind of sucks, because I don't really feel like this is a great use of time, so I'm probably going to speed this up a little bit. Uh, do, do we get chestnuts by running through the entire base, or are they on the floor? That's the question. I guess we'll just see them if we see them. I guess that's the best way to do this. Uh, we're just going to keep tackling you down and looking for chestnuts. And grabbing gummies at the same time, because let's be honest, gummies are pretty damn good. I, I'll take any gummies I see. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be the end. I don't know how many chestnuts we really want to find either. Probably two. I'd assume we'd want two. Weather hail. So hail is a weather condition. I would not expect to have be getting that in a forest though. Is that slowly actually going to weaken us? It is. It's slowly weakening us. Okay. I didn't think it would actually do damage. I didn't think the damage would rack up like that. But we don't have hail for long. It's only one at a time. Okay. I can roll with that. I really just want to speed this up and get ourselves some chestnuts. I don't want to chestnut hunt for long. It just feels like such a dumb thing to go and do. I just really hope it's at the end and not something that I find in... Confusion's really annoying. I believe that I will hit him one day. I believe. I believed. I freaking believed. And then we run out of confusion the next turn. Calculated is the word I would use. Calculated. So we just we just keep running through the forest. Is this really our entire aim? Kind of regret not cutting this out, but I mean I'm 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 committed now. I'm committed to it. So chestnut up there. I, have to, I have to make sure there's not any good juicy chestnuts. I need the chestnuts, you know? We are spawning next to this damn stairway, like, every time. We are always at this stairway. Now, for the first time, we are not at the stairway. We did it. We did it, guys. We won. We won the game. Not a chestnut. Oh. This is interesting. I like this. This is our first monster house. So for anyone that doesn't know, monster houses are these incredibly annoying little areas filled with ridiculous amounts of enemies that all want to kill you. It's pretty much a perfect place, really. However, this is a low level area, so we should be fine. I'm kind of leaving the sides open so the uh, squirrel can go and do his thing if he wants to. Doesn't look like he is, though. It looks like Magnolite's got his own problem over in the back there, which is fine. I mean, I was leaving the sides open for the sake of Squirrel, but Squirrel apparently doesn't want to help me. Apparently, I'm, I'm taking down this entire thing by myself. Sure, you'd, you'd, you'd help the target that I just attacked, wouldn't you? Frickin' Squirrels, man. Frickin' Squirrels. Always being annoying. The problem is there's so many different things that can happen because there's so many enemies like you could have so many different turns of events 
in a much higher level area, it is much more scary. That actually did too. Whereas the earthquake is doing a lot to his friends. I do not think that was a smart decision. Why can't I target... Whenever I look diagonally, it just puts me back to facing downwards. Hello? Okay, that was a bit weird. Don't know why that was happening, but either way, we'll keep the we'll keep the corner bit open just in case Squirrel wants to help out. There we go. There we go, Squirrel. You're finally helping me. That's what I want to see. Right, let's get everyone in here. Let's get some people doing some stuff. We're finally near. We're nearing the end of the monster house. Are we doing all of this for free coins? Are we really doing this for coins? I don't know how I feel about this. Wow, such great rewards. Ignoring that, either way, Monster House is done and out of the way. I don't know why that was such a long Monster House for nothing. For absolutely nothing. It's so weird. The hell? Nature Power Drought, Earthquake, we don't care. We're just trying to get to the end here. Did we get any chestnuts at the end? There appears to be no one here. Do we get a chestnut? I don't think we did. I don't think we got a chestnut. That's, that's really dumb. Okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? You know what we're doing right now? We're gonna do a cut, and we're gonna cut back as soon as we get some damn peeled chestnuts for these fools. Okay, and we're back with a chestnut, which took, it, it took a fair amount of time to actually find a chestnut for these guys, and I'm assuming they're gonna want more than one, which might be a pain, but for right now, here, Guys, have a peeled chestnut. Come on, give it to us, we'll work hard for it. Have yourselves a chestnut. We're gonna peel ourselves a spiny shelled chestnut. We're gonna hand it over. Are they really splitting one singular chestnut between the three of them and working for it? Because that seems a little bit crazy. But either way, for right now, we're just we're just gonna continue. And so, supplied with another chilled chestnut. Chilled chestnut. A lot. I, 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 that's when you know you need to just you need to put the game away and go to bed. <laughs> Another peeled chestnut. The Manky Gang got motivated and returned to work on the rescue team basis renovation. As a result. We got a little bit closer to completion and now we need another we need another chestnut, don't we? Okay, looks like we're gonna we're gonna go with one more singular cut Because I'm assuming we need one more or at least whenever the rescue base is done. We're gonna just cut ahead to that Okay, and we're back with a completed rescue team base It was only one more chestnut don't worry although it did take some time pretty sure they can only be found on the ninth floor Because I found both of mine on the ninth floor so that might be a point to keep in mind. Not entirely sure on that one, though. You might want to double check. Finally, this day has finally come. Carlos, it's finally finished. Our rescue team base. We don't we don't mention that name. It was it was a spare of the moment kind of thing. We are living inside of a Cyndaquil. That's pretty damn good. I kind of remember this now. I remember living inside a giant Bulbasaur head. I I did question why that was a thing in my memory. Oh, this is so cool. I can stare at it forever. A rescue team base is so cool. Are you saying you could stare at me forever? That's pretty creepy, Squirtle. The way it looks like you is a nice touch, Carlos. We all worked very hard. It was very hard, but it was worth it. I swear to God, what with it? Wow, with it. Mikey's, get out of here. <laughs> no more, no more chestnuts. Say there. There's something I want to ask. If this rescue team base is finished, does that maybe mean you won't bring us peeled chestnuts anymore? <laughs> well, what do you think? We don't need to keep working on the base anymore. To our Mikey gang, thanks for everything. Hmm. Okay. I d don't don't you dare. Don't you dare destroy everything. What? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? Stop that! <laughs> just just body them quickly. As a result of everyone's desperate efforts to stop the Mikey gang, the rescue team base was saved. As for the Mankey Gang, they promised to keep from rampaging. In return for more peeled chestnuts, they returned to their forest. And that is how the chaotic re renovation of the rescue team base came to an end. 
So all of this was like a little, this feels like an anime filler episode where they just, ooh, the pattern looks nice on the floor though. This feels like an anime filler episode where they just like, yeah, you know what, you, you go and just, you make a base. You, you go and make a base. It feels like a complete waste of time. But that is going to be the episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye.